Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Enderall. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in the paradisical, paradisical paradise, paradise island uh, of uh, Core Tor Sor. It's something. It's a, it's a, it, I think it's more or less like a a godlike deity. I'm not really sure because it could be. It could be like a lich that's controlling all these people. And uh, last episode we found the um, quote-unquote dead sisters, as it as the journal very kindly put it. Um, and uh, we also found the way to get in here. And that was all down to finding the dead sisters because we required... Well, this is disappointing. Because we required their amulets. But this is disappointing. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, less disappointing. But still very disappointing. Okay, that guy over there. Oh, come on. I got this. In the butt. Yeah. Okay, what do we have? Uh, nothing over here. Of course, the first thing I do is steal everything. But you know how I am. Okay, also cool to see that once I pressed number one, which is my shortcut key for my... Um, for my... Uh, interesting that these guys have books on the path. Huh, because these guys are definitely pathless, or were definitely pathless. I, I think the, the sisters might have been the last ones. Are they eating? No, come on, I... That's... What is that? Scrape it, scrape it! What is that? You see that? Is that food? Is that supposed to be food? I think that's supposed to be food. Roasted wither rat. And we got thistle, I'll take the thistle. I didn't know you could eat that meat of nice things. Yeah, there's nobody over here. I might as well walk over to the table and see what these guys were eating. Holly berry and red apples. I'll take the apples. Roasted ox head. Ugh! Well, I'll eat it, actually. <laughs> Roasted. Oh, oh. Eh, let's eat it. Can I? Oh, wait a minute. What? I think that's just a curiosity item. I was gonna eat it! You can eat Ed of animals. It's it's a thing. Artichoke. Oh yeah, those things. I don't know what those are. Yeah, these guys had a had a, a nice assortment of things. Apart from the cooked four tusk meat. Oh. Don't like it. Send it away. And these guys their meat is, is really expensive. Roasted goat meat. I'll take that. I'll take that. And we got some wine. Okay. So we only had a few rants. We have a wooden door. That leads to an empty room, which is my favorite. I also can't see anything, so you guys definitely can't see anything. So I'll be mindful of that. We got some wheat, we got a shell over here with some ectoplasm in it. How these guys came upon an ectoplasm, I don't know. It's actually quite quite rare. The only ectoplasm we've found so far is in the uh, uh, rare occasions where we find specters and stuff like that. Very nice stuff in there. Well, very, very inexpensive stuff, but very light stuff, which is the best. And the Encyclopedia Arcana, and we have a chest. With 20 pennies in there. Good. And a sack with a horseshoe. Don't need no horseshoe. Some wine. I'll take that. Not the other one. Hi, Mr. Rats. Desert Rats. Oh, I see. It goes down. Yeah. As I suspected. Well, I didn't really suspect that it would go down. Hi. But I suspected... Oh, he doesn't attack. That's a sneak attack? Was that a sneak attack? Please stop the... I don't know if it was... Oh, no! Hi! Oh, boy. There it is. And he's the only one. Poor little guy. He's gonna get shot by so many arrows. I think it's enough. That was more than enough. Interestingly enough... Yeah, there's still enemies. Oh, because, of course, that guy is in there. He just didn't aggro. That wasn't a sneak attack. Okay, torch back. Thank you. Let's see what we have. We got no oh, cheese. Of course, I'll take the cheese. Of course. I think I heard something. Might have been in real life. These guys are really big fans of these mead. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Different wines are differently expensive. Roasted with a rat. And I'll take the golden apples. Was that what it was? Because I read given, and I don't think that was the case. We got pumpkins in here, but they're very heavy. I can take those. What else? We got the rats. We have some carrots. Eh, I'll leave the carrots over there. 
You got some meat. Eh, it's fine. And eggs. Are those ingredients? Those are ingredients. I'll take them. Everything very, very neatly tied together. We got a hearth, which allows us to cook rabbit food. Apparently, I can't cook any. Well, I can. There it is. Could cook two rabbit feet. That's just really the haunch, not really the food itself. I don't think you eat the food. Maybe you do. I don't know. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of. Um, I, 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 um, I, I usually think of rabbit meat as in the same, in the same category as chicken meat. And I'm not a big fan of the little, like, chicken legs and, like, neck. It sounds, that's weird. I don't like it. My mom used to like it, but, nah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. I just really don't like it. Uh, so I suppose rabbit doesn't really, I mean, rabbit is already a finicky meat anyway, because the little guys have so many bones. So many bones. Whereas chicken are a little bit more streamlined in regards to the eatage. <laughs> It is score 75. Ka-ching! Where rats are about 30. Yeah. No rats, mind you. I never ate rat. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm not I'm not a very finicky person. Finicky? Um, squeamish. Squeamish is the word. Expert book on heavy armor. Thank you very much. That's really nice of you. Very nice game. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not a, a very squeamish person. If it's edible, if somebody tells me, okay, this is edible, like, I eat it, or... People here eat it. It's it's a, a thing that uh, that we are careful with and meat and stuff. And these are bread rats meant to be eaten, meant by us, not by them. I'm sure they wouldn't really they really appreciate the the wolf continued existence thing. Uh, but the, yeah, so the, their continued existence, the argument would be made, is uh, is your is in your belly. So uh, ooh, underground cave. This is not getting better. And the, look at where we are. Oh, yeah, below the... Well, we couldn't jump over there, of course, because that would be sacrilege. And also, I'm, I'm not sure Shara can actually... Uh, she she probably is very trim. She She's she's, she's slim, very slim. Oh, no, this is bad. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I see the sky. Okay, do you guys want to see something cool? Because I want to see something cool. Like, it just saved. And I like I like breaking the game like this. I don't think I can equip. Oh, I'm swimming. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I like doing this. So basically, of course, this is... Uh, it's all an illusion. Because of course it is an illusion. I'm going to reload, though. I don't want to contaminate my uh, my save with cheats. Or if I do that, it'll be as, as, as little as possible. We do have some water breathing potions. We have a rune, a reverse snapper. I was gonna rune snapper. What is that? What is a snapper? That's not a weapon. Fortunately, it's actually quite easy to see underwater. Uh, sister Tamira died. She's also floating, which is sort of weird. A little, a little bit. Not really sure about the. Uh... Can I? I can't see my effects. Can I? So what is that? Active effects. Yeah, it doesn't show my current stamina and stuff. This is not going well. Okay. I think I found somebody else, or was that Sister Tamira again? Hmm. Okay. I've ever, I've always had a lot of uh, well, especially more when I was a kid than than now. But uh, I've always had a hard time, a very hard time. Uh, breathing, or actually not breathing, I was going to say breathing on the water, yeah, <laughs> no kidding, um, but not breathing on the water, oh, I am stuck, okay, let's go with the water breathing in here, uh, water breathing, that is for 60 seconds, water breathing, that's breath water, but that's a scroll, I don't, I don't like it, that's 10 seconds of, of water breathing, okay, so where does this go? It's not where we came out of. I don't really want to understand what you want from me, game. That might not be what the game wants from me. That's where we came from. Okay. Got an urn with some bone meal. What do you expect? And I really should be... No, well, you should be able to breathe over there, but you might die. I'll continue my story in a little bit. Okay. Let's get another one. Use all of those. 
Through here? Through here. This is why you save potions, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a statue of somebody with a, with a face of of a, a demon in, in their hands. Okay. It's a full temple. It's the best thing. It's the best thing. Unfortunately, this game doesn't really lend itself to panoramic of vistas. Okay, but that's fine. You know, 7 was much better anyway, so let's go. Um... So yeah, I've all, like when I was a kid, like about the age of uh, oh, oh look at that, we got the fish thing. Um, when I was a kid, the at the age of like fourteen or something like that, I used to. to no, actually, at fourteen is I'm a, uh, it's a little bit after that. <gasps> is that a custom statue? I think that's a custom statue. Holy moly! I'm also stuck like crazy. Oh, because I'm sneaky. Yeah, that's a custom statue. I've never seen that. It's pretty cool. But I think it's also intimidating and I don't like it. Please don't intimidate me. No. I like having I like being at ease. Roll the dice. Roll me an intimidation check. Come on. Okay. And now we know who Core is. And they also that they like the color red. Are you gonna talk to me? Oh. Convey the tidings of her son's fate to Mirella God's hand. Yeah, she that's I forgot about that. So Mirella asked us to come here and see if her son was doing alright, because he had gotten himself involved in um Hi I'm gonna check you up there. You can hear like not screams, but I'm gonna loot you guys, don't worry. A little bit. It's a proper statue in here. This guy's really went out of their way to uh, honor their oppressor, basically. <laughs> I suppose. I'm not really sure. What do, what do you call making a statue and, and, and praying by the statue? Isn't, isn't that honoring, honoring something? Okay. Oh! Ugh. That's gonna be bone meal. I actually like the that they in, in Skyrim they changed the way itemization works for urns, and uh, they just didn't do it the way um, the way Marwin does and Oblivion does, which is just bone meal in there. It's everything. There's not a single, not a, not a single occasion in Morrowin where um, where one of these urns are, or or Oblivion for that matter, where one of these urns actually has treasure. It's always bone meal. Of course, bone meal is treasure, but that's beside the point. Ooh, I didn't open that. Oh, I did. Okay, so. I'll, I'll look at you in a little bit. Brother Melgar. Dead. Sister Sala. Her name means room in my language. Sister Yetta. Mm hmm. Brother Luril. Oh. Did they bring the mead? No, nope, that was a poison ball. Brother Torius. He dead. And. Brother Legless. Surreals. <gasps> well, we have ourselves a sword. And teleport to Ark, which I don't need. I don't like it. Don't look at me like that, man. I don't like it. I don't know how, what the rules of this world is or are. That's him. Very upset with life. Okay. So, to check him up, to look him up, I'm gonna need to do what I did just before. But we need to see him, right? We need to demystify. Oh my god. We need to appreciate. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. I love it. I love it. Pretty good. Okay, so reload. Just in case. I don't know. Because uh, I'm always afraid that the toggle clipping thing. Uh, will basically break enemy pathing and uh, well just generally NPC pathing where they'll just get stuck because it used to be the case in um, in Morrowind if you did that that it'd break everything it'd be terrible so you had to be very careful yeah I don't think we need to go over there okay so now magic uh, magic like this I have all and I have return that's the one select it right there and cast it Kame. Ah, uh, eh. 
Huh. Is that the whole thing? Do you say that? The, I never knew. Um, I never knew when I was a kid if Kamehameha was the correct full name or if it actually that ha at the end was just somebody screaming because they screamed so much. I'm talking about not about the the uh, Hawaiian uh, king, uh, but about or kings actually because there are many, but actually about the lightning ray thing. It's not really a lightning ray, but yeah. Back to my breathing thing that I was talking about. <laughs> Underwater when I was a kid, I could I could um. At the time, I could breathe for, uh, or suspend my breathing for up to two minutes. I think I've, I've, I, I got up to two and uh, two minutes and eight seconds without breathing, uh, and I'm talking about without breathing actually like, <gasps> and holding your breath rather than just stop breathing with your lungs sort of wherever because of course that first big breath is going to be the actual measure of your lung capacity, not so much of your uh, capacity capacity not to breathe, which is more about your, just it's it. It, it can be dangerous if you are very, very good at controlling your instinct to breathe again. <laughs> because it is very dangerous. Because it's just an instinct. You can you can hold your breath for, I think it's up to like five minutes. And then you start having brain damage. And uh, yes, so it's, it's it's dangerous. So if you are capable of, of uh, controlling your instinct, I don't think we need to drop anything. Uh, then be careful, because it can be very dangerous. But anyway, I, I, at the time I could I almost eight, uh, almost two minutes without breathing outside of water. But when in water, like in a pool or something, not not nothing too extraordinary. Where's my house? It's over here. Uh, when in water, I could never go above like 15 seconds. It it it's, it was crazy. And recently I've tried again in water breathing. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this, uh, or stop breathing, I should say. And I've actually managed like. A minute or something, so I don't know. Maybe it's because of the temperature of the water, I was just too panicked or something, or maybe it was because it was in a river at the time. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything there. It's fine because it wasn't a river where I tried this. I don't, I don't go to water very often. So, uh, I need to complete many, many quests. I don't know why I came over here. Uh, can you show me on the map where that is? It's here. This is good news. I don't know where here, but. It's still good news. Current location. Nope. Over there? Yeah. On Snowball's quarters. You're not from here. Oh my god, please stop. I heard you talk. No, please I, I I'm hearing you talk. Please don't. Please don't do that. It's better for everyone involved. So it's that one. Always be even. Yes, thank you. It's rare it rarely is. Unfortunately, these guys are big fans, as they should be, of all the little details of the ground. Did you see just this path that we came up to? I mean, come on. It's just how detailed can you get? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And I, I do think that... Uh, I do think that th despite the age of the, uh, of the engine, because it really shows, actually. It shows that it's an old engine. Oh, that's, that's a problem as well. As I was saying, despite the age of the engine... And the stability of the engine. They did an amazing job at, at uh, creating uh, very, very detailed graphics. So pretty good. Pretty good. Of course, in terms of lighting yes, effects and shaders and all that sort of is. stuff. Life is what you make of it. That's always going to be, you know. So hungry, he says, with a huge hunk of bread in his hand. Sure. I mean, that's what I say as, when I, uh, as well when I have a huge hunk of bread in my hand. So I need to go to Morella's Miraculous Mixtures. Big fan, lady is, uh, about uh, of, of, of uh, alliteration. Alliteration, of oh, course, just being one of those things that everyone you. likes, just instinctively, because it's like a song. Do you like songs? Yes. Hi, Vera. I think I've seen you before. Yes, I've talked to you like five thousand times. Have you been to the island? I have. Do you know who those wild mages are? Thank you, thank you. Uh, Morella. She, you guys remember her? She was the one that I wanted to sell to, but she she wouldn't. Yes. Have you been to the island? Yeah. Um. Uh, it's bad news, though. Rukas, he's dead. He he and the other cultists. What? A sunken shrine? Oh. So you are saying whatever power lived in that temple made Rukas and the others... Well, mm, no, mm, not really. That's not what I was saying, but I'm sorry. Oh, my marvelous. <sighs> it is all my fault. I failed. If I had been there for him more, if I would have prayed more often, he would have never lost his power. I, I just know it. Here, 
take this key. It opens up a shelf in the bank. The things in there, they were meant for Rukas, for when he comes back. Now, please go. I, I need some space. Well, thank you very much. Um, I will... That was a nice sound. That was a nice, uh, a nice soundtrack right there. Um, so yeah, th th thank you. 200... Oh, 2111 is the name of the... Or the number of the vault in the bank. So let's My go turn. there. Hello, sir. Let's go to, back to the marketplace and continue doing many things. So from here... Actually, what, so we came... That's right. We came over here because I wanted to go to the Myrid, because I wanted to go directly to the Myrid Tower where we were supposed to go, and I unfortunately went to a place that I, well, I was supposed to go to, but I didn't want to go, and that's how that adventure came to an end. Um, Do I'm just gonna go to the bank. Go too easy on the scum. They always go. No, that's not what I want. No, don't do that. Who goes easy on the yeah, scum? That's the one. Who goes easy on the scum? When I do almost bare, barely scummy things, it's like Madame? the little tiny, little tiny thing. They, they just go really hard on me. That's nasty. Apart from robbing banks, they don't mind that too much. Okay, so we got vault doors and we've opened everything. Mm -hmm. Of course, does it have a number? It doesn't have a number, so don't give me numbers for the keys. It's not like I can make a decision. And yeah, so these are mostly closed. I guess you could make. Walk blast. Bark, bark. <laughs> I guess you could make it uh, like the first one is Walk a thousand, blast. the second one is two thousand, and then there's a top level. Nope, I'm just miss. Uh, there is a top level indeed. Okay, so huh? it's can over I here. Help you? Yeah, yeah, no, not really. I don't think you can. You could. Oh, it's not here. I guess two thousand one hundred and eleven is up here. Closed, 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 closed. Man. What? Empty. Empty. That's my box. They just sit on their asses and hope things settle themselves. Idiots. She, she has a lot of sound to her voice. I like it. I like it a lot, but unfortunately... That sounds a little bit weird on my on my headphones. <laughs> or at least that time it did. Don't know if it sounded to you or not like that. Yeah, but I I don't think I think I'm missing a room here. Is there? Got the earnings. Oh, speaking of earnings, didn't we have something to get the earnings out of? Huh. So, I'm thinking that the key that she gave us was for a thing that we have already opened on our own. Yeah. Sorry, kind of stole your son's stuff. <laughs> eh, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, from here, we're going to the Myrid. Should be pretty simple, because we just have the teleporter. We're actually going to check and see. Hi, how's it going? Hello. Oh, How don't do that. Sometimes the game is so stable. Madame? And other times. Walk blessed, my day. Well, thank you very much. How can Sylvan and friends serve you today? Um, hmm. No, he doesn't actually give me. Walk blessed. Wait a minute. And don't forget your. Can I make it mm -hmm. any droll? Thank you. Okay. Let's go with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He's not a big fan of that. It's fine. Uh, get a little bit of money there. Not that I really need it. Just I don't think he wants it. For right now, it's fine. We're, I think we were at the max. Where were we at the maximum? Was that ten thousand? That might have been a ten thousand, the maximum that you can gain interest. And then from here, we have a teleporter over here that will take us to the Myra Tower, where we are not. Well, I am not gonna make the mistake that I made before. Was it a couple of episodes ago? I think it was because last episode I mostly just fumbled about in with a spider and all that sort of stuff. That was pretty fun. That was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, from from here. We're going to the north because we have the quests. All of the quests. Hi. Hi. Rock, rock. Let's go. Walk bless, my lady. Yo, he's is, you as well. No, don't. What is there to tell? No. Beautiful animals. No. Just stick and wild and dangerous if you're unlucky enough to run into an untamed one. Can you please not? 
Walk blessed, friend. Let's sure. just go. Where to? I don't know. It's a good question, actually. I have no idea. That's, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's right. I, I have things to do over here. That's fine. I don't want to go there. I want to go over there. To Fogville. So my intention was to go to Fogville. Get the effigy. So I could then come over there and then go down this way. We have a lot of things to do. Let's go to For Fogville and explore this bit. Oh man, so many things, so many things. Yeah, Fogville it is. Hi. So t take sure. Where to? Mhm. Mm take that. Okay. Uh, Riverville. It doesn't have Fogville over here. Fogville right there. Okay. Let's see if it's like Riverville, like a an actual town. Because if it is, man, this game is huge. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be just a few settlements here and there, like not like Riverville, I guess. I guess, how many have we seen? We saw Riverville? And that was about that. Hi. 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 I don't know if they're smart enough so that, that we need to, uh, you know, be courteous to them or not. You never know with these things. Or maybe they are so smart that you don't even need to be courteous to them. You can just so much do whatever do you're doing so and, and they'll be there. Thinking about quantum theory and all, the, all, the, all that other stuff. Mm, I'll take it. Sausages. I'll definitely take sausages. And cannons. You have a cannon up here? What happened? There's a chest out here. Did you see that? I don't know what that is. No, no, no. So, Fogville looks like... Okay, that's a stag. Looks like a siege took place. Oh no, there's an actual town up there. I mean, I don't know if it's populated. It There's a siege... <laughs> yep. There's a siege tower. That's what that is. I'm gonna eat cheese, these guys are... I'm gonna teach these guys. With all the cheese that I'm gonna eat. The other one aggroed. The other one does know I'm here. Sneak attacks for the win. So many bones flailing about. Okay. And with that, I think we have the the end of the episode. Because we have things to see here in Fogville. I think we're going up to Fogville. This is looking pretty interesting. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Enderall. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.